That blurriness, though. Whew. Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Today, we're going to be continuing on with the mine mart, the supermarket of our city here. And you're going to be surprised how quickly today is going to go. We're going to be able to build so much. Uh, it's going to come together so quickly. Things, oops, I threw it on the ground. I threw it on the ground. Uh, Things have changed a little bit since the last episode. All I've done is like built this wall up all to the same height. I just wanted to see what it would look like with that carpet design all the way across. And I've decided I really like it. So yeah, just put the finishing top to the Mine Mart sign as well. And I think we're just ready to move on. I can't really see any hiccups, any more problems that we're going to come across here. Uh, we're going to want to have a little path area in front made out of the uh, uh, three or four, three blocks should be enough, are uh, made out of the slabs. So we're going to go all the way along here and all the way down to here. And we're going to set that to 44.6. Replace air with 44.6. And that sets us a nice basin to be able to work from. Let's turn the shaders off as well so we're not all blurry in the peripherals. Uh, now I want to think about the top. We know how the sides are going to go. We know how the back's going to go. The back is going to be the same as this side. That side's going to be the same as the back. Uh, we don't really know the window section yet. We're not too focused on the front either. But we just got to figure out how we're going to go above this. What we're going to do in this spot until we get to the height of the window and then we're, uh, to the sign. And then what we're going to do above it. Now we know that these are going to have to go up here to at least at least there before the gray starts the gray i think i want to hang a uh, one block over the edge of the brick so it's going to be like that and down this side if you know what i mean but what do we fill this space with now i don't want to uh make this one giant white clay and uh orange carpet sort of area and i don't think I want to do another clay because we're already going to have clay at the top there, you know. So what do we do? do? Or do we just do another section of this? Do we go with another one so we have it like that? And then, and then literally just have another one. That could work. That could be the answer. And then have this down here. And then grey will fill up this gap, or cyan. I always call it grey. It, it's cyan. Fills up that. You know, that would work. That would work really, really well, in fact. Okay, so that's going to go all the way along the side. Uh, if I do another one with it, with the grey at the bottom, I should be a, I should be able to copy and paste anyway, right? Like from uh, that one to uh this one will be fine and let's go all the way down to the no just down to here and then stand there copy paste i hope this works yeah okay wonderful so we can get those in and then if i do this all the way down and then if we copy an entire section including the sort of ground floor here oh i didn't I thought I didn't paste it. There we go. And that one. And now if we grab from here all the way up to there. Copy it, rotate it. We'll be able to go all the way along the back as well. Now I'm going to stand over here. And there's a reason I want to stand on this side. Copy, rotate, 90. Which means if I now stand on this corner instead of trying to guess how many blocks I need to stand away. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, what popped off then? Okay, there were some blocks that just changed a little bit. Not a problem. No bother here. And then that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And then I think it'll probably be best if we now just copy and paste it again so I don't have to do that every time, right? Uh, nope. I want this block. From there to there should should work. Did I? It should work. Copy. I'm getting better at like working out exactly like how I need to copy and paste things to make it as easy as possible. Woo. 
Ooh, did you hear that? There's a big old horn outside. It's like one of them uh, air horns. Alright, so this is easy. Look, we just easily now fill the back in. That one. This one. I have to stand on this. Do I have to stand on the slab? No, I don't. I thought maybe I had to stand on the slab uh, to be at the same height. Oops. Undo. Paste. And one more, isn't it? Like that. And now we're... Yeah, we're not in line, are we? Because the middle section is wider. Okay. So to fix that problem, we're going to want to go from here to the middle. Let's just say this one. Where did I click? I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to have to go from here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we've got it perfect. So I've clicked on that one. And then go back here. Click on this one. And then go... Uh, cut. Paste. Now that's in line with that. We're going to have a gap in the middle here. That's just going to be a little bit wider. Are we in line? Yeah. That's just now going to be a little bit wider in this middle because we have to fill up that area of the center. It should be at least roughly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be about, about right. So we have that one. That one. That one is a stupid pillar in my way. There. There. All the carpets on the floor. My entity count is going to be through the roof. Be careful when I turn my shaders on. Don't turn shaders on for about five minutes until they despawn. Because there's going to be a lot of... Uh, uh, of just... What do you call them? Carpets around, isn't there? Okay, and then... These ones. See, look at this. So quickly. We're only like... What are we? Like seven minutes into the video. And we've got like all four sides pretty much done. And then the roof's going to be even simpler. String. String. How come I haven't got any carpet on those? Oh, yeah, how come I haven't got any carpet on those? When I pasted it, it should have pasted the, the carpets down, shouldn't it? That's okay. I could do that off camera. So, they go down there. And then that wall's going to go up here. I'm going to put those this wall in and the carpets in. And I shall be back. Finally, we have something that's looking a little bit more like a supermarket shape, don't you think? Uh, I think I copied one extra block on the side on the uh, white stained clay. So it looks like we've got Pac-Man faces going all the way around, but it doesn't matter. Uh, they won't be seen uh, soon. But yeah, all the way around the back, we've got the thicker one there in line with the middle part. It makes no difference to the back of the building it whatsoever. Uh, I think we might have like the path leading around here as well and maybe a loading zone just here for like the lorries you know and like a, a back entrance into the warehouse or something that could work just really well it just seems to fit so it goes all the way around oh man hiccups now there's some hiccups gone there's some big gaps that we need to get rid of this one here is primarily like like the very large one i think to do that we're going to use brick stairs if we use full brick blocks well, you could use full brick blocks, but it's in line with this pillar then. And it looks a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit square and boxy. If we go on this level to keep the thickness of the of the pillar out, it's then in line with the orange. And I don't think that looks quite as interesting. However, if we go with stairs along here, because it sort of drops away a little bit, you still get that sort of thick pillar while also getting closer to the orange at the same time so i think it's a really good balance and it just gets rid of this uh, air gap that we've got through here so let's stick these down this is gonna be one of the weirdest buildings like ordered to build something because i've done all of the walls like the the back wall and the side walls are completed before the front and that never happens you always build the the front and get that how you like first and then go from there but in the case of this building, it, it, it's not working like that. I don't know what I'm going to do on the top here. I don't know if I want sort of a pillar that sort of ends off like that or like that. I think maybe like that. I definitely just don't want to leave it as just like a straight top of the bricks though. Do you know what I mean? So let's have this one also go down here. Now in this gap, I was thinking about like a logo for the supermarket. And obviously being Mine Mart, I think an orange pickaxe 
could be quite good. I think we could probably, hopefully, fit it in here too. If we, like, limit our space that we have to build with, that might actually help. So if we go around the border with orange first, like we do around the Mind Mart logo, uh, around the Mind Mart text down here, and then up here, and then we want the white. Typing quickly with one hand is very difficult when you've got one hand on the mouse and one hand on the keyboard. From there to there, set 159. Don't suffocate myself. This is the area of space that we have. Now, leaving it blank isn't the worst thing in the world, but it would be cool if we could get a pickaxe in here. Um something like we don't have a lot of room you see but something like that and then either spruce or oak see it works i know it's a pickaxe but does ev will everybody else know what if we made it a different orange what if we I can't really make it any bigger than it is the size limitation is is what it is but let's say wool. Let's go with orange wool. It's a little bit brighter. We've used orange wool carpet already. And what if we made two of them? So we had one of them here, two blocks away from the edge, and two blocks away from the edge. And then we went down there with three blocks and three blocks. Could I go like, could I make it so it was like that? If I then change the pickaxe design a little bit. It's so close to going. Yes, uh, that's great. It's closer. That's even closer. I think. Mm-hmm. And then... This might be further away. See, the handle looks a little bit too big now, doesn't it? Oh, and I've got the pickaxe. That pickaxe is like one block too far off as well. Just there to there will be fine. Cut. Paste. Hmm. Uh, fences. Fences could work. They could give a little bit of, of, um, of 3D realism to it and they're a different color hey you know I like that that's a winner I think we've got a winner there the orange just being that slightly different color works I think it looks like two pickaxes you know away from each other yeah you know that's good I think that's nice uh, for a front now I want to really start on this section now we know that this is going to be glass in here. One there to there. Replace air with 160. We'll go back to the roof in a moment. Uh, this is going to be slabs. Not those slabs though. White slabs over here. And it's going to come out to that point right there. Because then the windows go along here. So yeah. These go in here, and this one, and then the quartz goes along like that. And in the middle here, it's all quartz as well. Now, I, I can find the, I'm sure I could, like, if I Google it again, I'd be able to find the idea of upside down slabs, but they don't have the same ID. If I, if I filled this with, like, fill with 44.2 or whatever, uh, quartz slabs are uh, it would place it on the bottom half of a block and we need it on the Top half isn't it? Yeah, this is the top half of a block. So we have to do this by hand It's not too much of a problem though. It's only two sections that are going to need to be done with this like that and Then these are windows. So we don't want the glass going all the way down to the floor. So we're going to put the uh, Bricks in like that that goes there. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem that being there um, I might have to make this one a blank. So we'll just fill this one up with bricks. And then that's a blank. And then these ones are like our real windows. There to there. And then 
one that one to that one replace there with 160 which is nice white stained glass panes sweet so we've got the two windows that are like little checkout windows uh, just to be able to see through we want that along there there's an extra row of those to go in this is the entrance our walkway in i think i can have glass oh i can't really have glass there no i think i'm just going to leave that open uh we want oh no that isn't um brick this is all quartz all the way along there isn't it quartz all the way along to here and then this is where on this one or this one this one where the door starts. I didn't move that over by two blocks when we done that shuffle. I want it on this one. Or back one. I like I like the whole sink back feel. I think the sink back feel is, is, is nice. So that's quartz all the way along there. This can also be windows, can't it? This can be windows down here. Five blocks, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And then that one, one, two, three, four, five. And then that one. And then that could go like that. We have like a little dummy spot in there. Yeah, and that gives us another two windows in there. Sort of a nice long area. Yeah, 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 that looks better. Okay, let me get those windows in along here. You've already seen me do that. Let me put the boring quartz up uh, along there and on that side. And I should be back. Ta-da! All right, just putting down a little row there. Uh, this is the entrance here. Now, check this out. That looks crazy cool. I love it. Now, I made this side one giant blank. I didn't want windows in there. I think that would have looked too much having that sort of amount of glass along the front. So there's a, a blank there where we'll just have some trolleys. The big open window there and then the sort of till windows that sort of peer into the shop on this side, followed by a small blank at the end. So you walk through here into the shop. Uh, the main doors will go something like oh, five blocks. We might as well keep the same sort of five look might we whoops uh you guys are gonna be annoyed there's a brick block randomly in the floor now one two three four five uh that doesn't give us enough room in the middle there uh unless i do it the other way and then yeah so then these are the doors and then this is just a blank and then there's two doors in yeah in and out or the other way around whatever it doesn't matter uh, and then we can just finish off with this quartz. Now, I'm not going to do... Ooh, I'm not going to do lighting this episode. We're going to have to go up a half slab. This makes no difference. Um, we're not going to do any lighting on the store this episode. But I have noticed, even in the daytime, uh, looking at the sign, it's very, very dark. Because we've got so many parts that go in and out, and you know, thicker parts and depth parts, uh, it's put a lot of shadow on the front of the shop. In front of the store so we're definitely going to need to use some either fluorescent lights or some of those panel lights uh, in order to brighten it up enough that it, it it looks sort of open and not just derelict i really like how that goes up by half a slab now as well that's a really cool sort of feel to it yeah very dark on this inside as well but look the mine mart sign is very very dark isn't it i do like the pickaxes they've really really grown on me now the ceiling or the roof not the ceiling the roof is uh, a little bit non-existent at the moment uh, next episode we shall finish off the roof which won't take long at all and we'll do the car park most of that i'll just do off camera so you guys have seen me put uh lines in before uh, i might even do that off camera between now and next episode stick a load of car parks uh, spots in and then like just finish up on some small little details and stuff like that it's gonna be really interesting i hope you guys really like the building i really do it's i think it's really blending in with the color scheme of the building over the road the white the cyan uh the white stained clay uh, everything sort of it definitely looks like it's meant to be part of the same building isn't it you know it's just across the road from each other and it's a it's a good size as well i'm very happy with the size of it all right if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe we shall see you in the next episode